Hey everyone. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I'm going to tell you what it means to be a real man. Today on Beard vs. Beard. Welcome to Beard vs. Beard. I'm Taylor, where we show you it's okay to be a guy and a geek at the same time. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it means to be a real man. Even though a year ago, we already did a video on it. Now there are a bunch of stereotypes out there that about what a real man is. How they're tough, how they're masculine. How they can throw a ball the farthest, how they can dig a ditch, how they can shoot a gun. I'm here to tell you that that's all bullshit. That used to be what a real man was a hundred years ago. But it shouldn't be that. I hate the stereotypes. I hate the stereotypes because there's a lot more to it than that. And you're missing one big component. I'm going to give you one big tip on how to be a good father. And I'm going to give you one big tip on how to be a good man. And if you can do both, you'll be a damn good man who happens to be a father. Now I don't talk to a lot of people about this. Three, three months ago, my dad died very unexpectedly. He was a damn good man. Still is. It's because he loved. And he showed it. And in my mind, that's what a real man does. He loves. Now, I know traditionally that's thought of a feminine thing. That's, it's kind of weak. But that's not true at all. Love gives you, gives you strength. Love helps you. We all show love differently. My father did it in a couple different ways. Mainly, he served. He helped you out. No matter what. Several times he loaned cars out to people with nothing in return. He didn't want it. He built my mom and my family a good house out of a mobile home. You know, one of the cheap ones. We lived in a construction zone, but it looks damn good now. My father served. He gave gifts. And he told you that he loved you. And he's one of the strongest men I've ever met. Now, fathers... Here's one tip for you. Just one tip. And it will change your life and your children's lives. Now, full disclosure, I am not a father. I am not married. But I know that this is true. Have one activity, one thing that you and your child always do together. It's your thing. And try to make it different for each child. My dad's my thing was always television and movies. Even as a small kid. I'm pretty sure I watched almost every John Wayne movie with him. Sitting on the couch. Every war movie that was ever made. Sitting on the couch. We watched so many movies that we started to make fun of him. And give references from other old movies that we've seen. Like Mystery Science Theater 3000. We love that show. I remember as a kid we got really big into sci-fi. Every weekday we'd watch Star Trek. And that wasn't hard because there were three of them out at the time. We watched Stargate SG-1. Stargate Atlantis. I watched every single Star Wars movie in theaters with him. Every Harry Potter movie in theaters with him. That was our thing. And although he died three months ago, I still can't watch some of the shows that we watched. 
I try, but I just can't bring myself to it. Because it's not the same. Today, I watched Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Hacksaw Ridge. And in two hours, I'm watching Doctor Strange. All in theater. And it's hard. Because he's not there. But I will always remember him for being there. Every movie, right next to me. So fathers, find that one thing that you can do with each of your children. And make it your thing. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It just needs to be consistent. Because we're going to remember you for it. Long after you're dead. And if it's so happy, and if we have so many good memories of it, we're going to keep doing it. And we're going to pass it on to our own children. Now today, after watching one of the movies, I sat in my truck and I cried for half an hour. First time I've ever done that. Because I miss my father. Don't just be a working dad. Don't show up at home late at night and just say, hello children, time for bed. That's not creating good memories. You'd be little more than a stranger. Be a father and be a damn good man and love and show them that you love. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's a time for family. Recommit to that. Be there for them. Talk to them. Get to know them. I was planning on doing a video that Spoiled any of, them, any of the movies I watched today. I just couldn't do it. It doesn't matter. Family matters. Love matters. And the day that you realize that, turn around and commit to it, is the day that your family will change forever. Remember, if the women don't find you manly, they should at least find you loving. Don't go shaving on me.